Okay. Um, <laughs> and following suit with everything else I've ever done, uh, we're going to make this a, kind of a makeshift um, documentary here. Um, let's talk a little bit about the equipment that I'm going to use here. Uh, in, in doing an all grain, the steps are basically um, you, um, you heat up your mash, you sparge that mash, um, and um, you collect the wort, and then from there, it's pretty much as basic as, as any other extract recipe. You're, you're boiling that mash or that wort, uh, and then cooling it down, and then adding your yeast. Um, what I have behind me here, this is a um, this is a coffee carafe, an industrial commercial coffee carafe. This thing is meant uh, to really keep uh, things at warmer temperatures. I decided to go with this rather than using um, a traditional uh, cooler. Uh, Gatorade cool cooler because I just figure this is that this is what it's intended for. I could get my hands on one. My brother-in-law uh, owned a cafe, so that's why I was able to get my hands on this. Uh, as you can see, it's got quite a bit more. I don't know if you can't see it. The, the walls on this are pretty thick. It's got quite a bit more of uh, insulation in it as compared to a normal um, as compared to a normal cooler. Um, first things first. Um, before I install the pieces into this, um, I kind of have an apparatus, a smaller version of this. This is actually going to be, quote unquote, part of my sparging arm. I, I, need, I still need to drill holes in it. It's just some half inch PVC pipe. Um, but I have a smaller version of this that's going to fit inside of here. It's going to fit inside of here. Uh, and that's going to be what I'm using as my false bottom, my manifold, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm also going to use, um, for, to, for my boiling kettle, uh, this came with the turkey fryer. Yeah, I know it's an aluminum pot. They say not to use aluminum. Um, after a little bit of research, I feel that those are, um, they, they say it's okay to use in a pinch. And they say that, uh, you know, uh, stainless steel is better and everything like that. But uh, from what I understand, it's safe to use. Um, the pros about it far outweigh the cons. Um, it, it's a myth that this stuff creates, causes Alzheimer's. Um, you know, besides this day and age, everything that we are surrounded by is going to kill us. Um, what's a little bit of aluminum? Um, yeah, so I have my grain here. I'm making a porter. Uh, this is my turkey fryer. Right now what I have going on here is I'm, I'm heating up. This is what I'm going to be doing to heat up my strike water. Or, uh, or my sparge water, I should say. And my strike water. Um, right now, since these are both uh, brand new uh, kettles that I'm, that I'm uh, using. I'm just trying to bring this one up to a boil to kind of not necessarily sterilize it, but they say that if you're using aluminum, boil it for a half hour just to kind of like burn off any industrial whatever. And it also creates some sort of like, um, it's like an anti-corrosive layer. I don't know. So anyway, that's just kind of like a, an overview. Um, well, I'll try and fine hone this a, a bit as we go through it.